Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Dirt 4 running on the i5 1135G7. The game is currently running at 1080p with the ultra low preset, which is the lowest that the game will actually let you go to. And the performance is passable. We're getting 1% lows that are in the 30s range, but it doesn't really affect the gameplay too much. It feels relatively smooth. It's great to see numbers like this. The Dirt games really are very forgiving in terms of hardware, and this just goes to show that they are very, very flexible with what they can run on. I mean, we are on a chip that struggled to even play 720p in certain games, and this is able to do 1080 and get a average that is very, very close to 60, and it is very consistent. Really, unless you're very sensitive to FPS, you should be able to actually get away with playing this. It's funny to think that this actually runs better than some of the Need for Speed games. Even ones that are like noticeably older than this just don't run as good as this. The engine that they use for this, Codemasters, just has nailed it in terms of being able to run on practically anything. With that said, though, we do sacrifice a lot visually. I mean, you look at the environment around us and the trees look very, very low quality. The terrain itself loses a lot of the details specifically because shadows are completely eliminated it's really just aggressively turning down every possible setting until everything looks like a game from 2005 but honestly i'd rather a game do that than just give me bad performance you know i mean yeah the terrain kind of looks like it's a map from medal of honor allied assault but at least we're experiencing that at a very very smooth 57 fps average at 720p with the ultra low preset, the performance uplift is actually really significant. We're hitting averages that are pretty much getting as close as you can to 100 FPS. This is just fantastic performance and the uplift in the 1% lows is kind of insane. In fact, it gives us enough headroom that we can actually start to mess with the settings a little bit if, you know, visually this is just not your cup of tea, but don't expect anything incredible. The game very quickly hits a ceiling where by the time you get to the medium preset, you are actually getting worse FPS than if you were just at 1080p at ultra low. So you pretty much negate any of the performance uplift of going down to 720p while also not really getting that much of a visual improvement. As you'll see here, this is the game set to the low preset. So we get a little bit more shadows out of here. Things get a little bit more detailed. This is pretty much the first actual improvement visually here. And uh, the performance takes a hit for sure, but we're still doing better than 1080p did at ultra low. And it looks visually better. And those averages and 1% lows are perfectly fine. You're actually going to be able to get a very smooth experience. It's just not going to be as smooth as if we were playing at the ultra low preset. Honestly, these seem like the most ideal settings for me because of the fact that you still get a pretty high FPS and you get visually a lot more detail in there that was just taken away to squeeze out the last bit of performance that it could out of the game. I think a lot of the times if you can just have the lowest quality shadows on instead of having them off, it's usually better to take at least a little bit of that performance hit from the shadows being on because of the fact that it gives the image a little bit more detail. And it's one of those things that when they're not there, you can kind of notice them sometimes. It makes everything seem a little bit flatter. And it's because the shadows are there to give things depth. It's what makes things seem more three dimensional than just completely flat. Like I said, though, once you switch it over to the medium preset, there's not really much of a visual improvement and the performance is noticeably worse. Pretty much one of the biggest things is the fact that the shadows now are a little bit more detailed and it seems like the game really, really starts to struggle once too many things get turned up to detail like this. Specifically, just look at those frame time charts. They are all over the place. It's literally just censoring a part of the screen right there. The averages and the 1% lows are just so gruesome. To say that this is unplayable is kind of an understatement in the sense that the input lag is just so brutal. I mean, look at that. We have literally a constant delay with every input of at least 50 milliseconds. It's insane. So I would just say stick to 720p low or 1080p ultra low to get the best experience with this game.